Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlet Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue my series on reviewing the books from the CBCA Awards for 2024. We are going to continue with the with the New Illustrator Award. So this is a category that aims to recognise and encourage new talent in the field of Australian children's book illustration. Books in this category can be readers from 0 to 18 years of age. So while this category is obviously for New Illustrator, and I will mention the illustrations and the books that I loved for, for the illustration, I'll also be talking about the books themselves. So the first one on the list is Fonabet by Kathy Whedon and Kim Drake. This one is all about looking at the sounds of the English language. So it does say on the back, I'm sure you've met the alphabet, our very tidy friend, with an A at the beginning and a Z right at the end. Now come and meet the phonobet, a very handy twin, a set of all the sounds you can use when waggling your chin. So this is all about exploring sounds and the way that language actually works. It is really fun in its illustration tone. It's very bright, it's very colorful. It's got a really distinct illustrative style. The first part of the book is told in almost a storytelling style explaining how phonics works. And then the very back of the book does feature more information about exploring your voice, how some sounds are voiceless sounds, more information about vowels and how to record sounds, accents, how to have fun with sounds, etc. So there's lots of extra information there. So part of it is very easily accessible for younger readers. Part of it you would definitely need a grown up to help them with that. But it is a really interesting and engaging way to talk about sounds in the English language. Then there is Etta and the Shadow Taboo. This one is by J.M. Field and Jeremy Warrett. This one is a book about Etta who accidentally steps into the shadow of someone else. And this is a book that is all about exploring what it means to have personal space based around some of the traditions of the Gamilaray tradition. It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous story as Etta learns exactly the consequences of her actions. The illustrations in here are really stunning as well. It is a very intricate illustrative style in the way that most Indigenous illustrations are. But it's very striking, it's very evocative and it's very thought-provoking and it was a really wonderful story to explore. Then there is Grace and Mr Milligan by Kaz Goodwin and illustrated by Pip Kruger. This is the story of two neighbours. You have Grace and you have Mr Milligan who lives next door and together they are really good friends. Mr Milligan also has a goat called Charlie and one day Charlie the goat dies and so it is a book about grief and loss and recovery and friendship and kindness and it's really really lovely because even though Mr Milligan is sad by the loss of Charlie. Grace doesn't give up on him and shows him that true friendship means being there for you, waiting for when you are ready to accept that. And it's really, really lovely. The illustrations in here are very cute. They're just really, really beautiful. And it was a great story to read. This book will feature in another category as well. So I'll talk a little bit more about it in that one. Next, we have Raised by Moths by Charlie Archbold and Michelle Conn. This one, the illustrations in this are just stunning. The colour palette is gorgeous. This is the story of Willow who is a young girl and she gets onto a ferris wheel. While she's on this ferris wheel she meets another boy and he's surrounded by moths and she's amazed by this and he tells her the most incredible story about being raised by moths and how they helped him to find his family. It is a beautiful story about adoption, about finding your people and the power of imagination and the resilience of children. It is absolutely stunning. I mean, just look, look at these illustrations. They're beautiful. It's one of those books that you'll get to the end and you'll just, you'll feel a tug at your heartstrings. It's really lovely. The next book I think is a really important one. This one is When You're a Boy by Blake Nuto. And this is challenging all the stereotypes we place on young boys. It's told in the most beautiful way. And I'm just going to read you the, the blurb because it's actually an excerpt from the text. And it says, when you're a boy, you're told to how to be like the white roaring oceans. But I've learned the fierceness of flowers, the glory of colour and the beauty of dreaming. And it is a boy and his father exploring different parts of the world and looking at the types of traits that we expect boys to have, why we expect to have them, but then also comparing them to a different equivalent that is less harsh and is less demanding. And it is just stunning. And the, the illustrations in here are just absolutely gorgeous. They're really soft and beautiful and inviting and I just oh I nearly cried when I read this book. It just it's I think it's a, I think it's a really important one for us to have available to us to to talk to young boys about like these these you can still be fierce but you can be fierce in ways that it doesn't impact doesn't hurt and impact other people. I loved it. And then there is a book that I've had for quite a long time. I was actually sent this for review when it first came out and that is Hope is the Thing by Joanna Bell and Erica Wagner. 
and this has just such a gorgeous illustrative style. I love it. This is a verse book, essentially. It is a giant poem the whole way through the book. Not only is it all about hope, it's a beautiful poem all about hope, but it is an ode to birds and it was written or the concept of the book came about post bushfires and, and the impact that it had on local wildlife particularly the birds and this book was born and it's just I, I don't actually have the right words to talk about it it is really really lovely the language in here is just stunning and coupled with Erica Wagner's mixed media kind of style so all of this is painted paper and then collage and it's just a beautiful book to explore it could be a coffee table book for the way that it is it is presented yeah it's definitely been a favorite since i first read it when it first released i mean look at these pages so those are all the books in the new illustrator shortlist for 2024. in the comments i would love to know if you've read any of them or if you're planning on picking any of them up or if you haven't read any of them which one would are you most interested in exploring for yourself in the comments below if you'd like to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of bird emoji otherwise i hope that wherever you're in the world you're staying safe and healthy and i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye everyone